Thank you very much, my friends. You're welcome. The only sentence in Hebrew that I know is Yariv Levin Pozeropolin. Yariv Levin Pozeropolin. Yariv Levin Pozeropolin. So, I want to thank you for inviting me here, and in particular, I want to thank my very dear friend, to whom please send a great applause, Professor Yaniv Roznain. Roznain. I came here to share with you one very simple message. And the message is, you Democrats of Israel and we Democrats in Poland, as well as in Hungary or India or many other countries, we should learn from each other because those against whom we are acting are also learning from each other. You know what? A few months ago, Polish government announced something that I am not sure is known in Israel. But it went public, saying that it was carrying out consultations. Consultations was the word with the government of Israel, the government of Benjamin Netanyahu. And you may, ask our, you may ask yourselves, what were these consultations about? Were they about international politics? Were they about Russia's invasion against Ukraine? No. This was about, as the official statement said, judicial reform. So that is what the government in, of Israel and the government of Poland taught each other. And I bet they were taking notes. So if they learn from each other, so should we, in order to know what they are up to, what is their script. And I can tell you, page one of their script of their playbook, both in Poland and in Hungary, is control judicial appointments. That's the first step. And once they do it, they have everything. Their idea is to make sure that politicians will be appointed the judges who then will have to control the very politicians who appointed them. That's the script. Once, once they achieve that, anything is possible. But what is this anything? I can tell you, after 2015, when the current government in Poland came to power, they not only captured the top courts, they also completely spread control over civil service, over the army, over central bank, over media, over NGOs. They have completely restricted and reduced women's rights, and rights of LGBT community, and they have established a strong surveillance of 
opposition politicians. Surveillance including the device which you all know about called Pegasus, which is uh, developed not far from this place. They used it not against terrorists, not against organized crime. They used it against the opposition. That is what happened when the dictatorial government can control judges. You control judges, you control everything. Because without judges, all your rights, all your basic laws, all your rights to liberty and dignity and equality are not worth the paper they are written on. You know, the Soviet Constitution under Stalin had the longest list of beautiful rights, but there were no judges to whom a citizen could go to claim their rights. So citizens were reduced to the position of slaves. And that, my friend, is my very simple message to you. If they manage to control appointment of judges, they will end up at a point at which Poland and Hungary are now. They can control everything. Don't let it happen to you. Don't let it happen to you. Thank you.